Thank you. Thank you very much, Jose Antonio. You're going to present the next uh, case, use of GVC for analyzing vote transfer between candidates. You have the floor. Uh, well, this is a bit different from the previous project. This uh, was a commissioned and I wasn't uh, too pleased. Let me explain why. I was commissioned by a political party to analyze performance of the opponent candidate in the elections in Brazil the elections for presidency took place last October and uh, some of my findings were used uh, for strategic policies. My study is about vote transfer between political heirs. Let me explain. In Brazil it is very common to transfer votes. If I am a politician and I leave, then my votes go to my brother, who is also a politician, or the father is a politician, and then the son stays, etc. There are well-known cases in history, uh, as you can see on the photographs, the Kennedy brothers. Right, Brazil's population is 190,000 million, sorry, 190 million people. Uh, Brazil is divided into districts, federal districts, and um, federal power in Brazil is arranged as follows. We have a president and one vice president. We have 81 members of parliament, three per state, and 513 federal members of parliament. These federal parliament members are allocated on the basis of the population of each state. In Bahia, my state, we have 39 federal members of parliament. But now we have a dual system. In Bahia, for example, we have 14 million people and 417 municipalities. In this case, the power is in the hands of one governor plus 63 federal members of parliament In each town, out of the 417 towns, there is a prefect prefecture. This is my study case. The objective is to analyze the transfer of votes between two brothers in the polls of 2006 and 2010 in Bahia. These two politicians are very, very well known in Bahia. The first one is, his name is Jedel. He has a lot of power. He's a federal MP, has had a long career as a politician. He started in 1998 when, we, when he was elected a member of parliament for the first time. In 2010, he was appointed minister to the president, to President Lula. And he wanted to transfer all of his votes to his brother Lucio. In this study, he wanted to know how many municipalities voted for candidate A and for candidate B in the polls or elections of 2010. Okay, first votes for candidate A. This is the classification. Sorry, there is a mistake. And 
here we have the level of votes um, and the color codes. Orange, 1,000 to 2,500. Red, 2,500, 5,000. And then, and then uh, purple from 5,000 to 7,500 and blue more than 7,500 votes. With this map, we can see that candidate A had 217,000 votes in 31 municipalities. He he got more than uh, 2,500 votes in the uh, orange uh, areas, while his brother in 2010 obt obtained 222,000 uh, votes in total in 406 municipalities in the area, which means 34.54% more. Here's an analysis of the towns where the candidates had more than 2,500 votes. We can see by crossing data that seven municipalities, in seven municipalities, candidate A was able to transfer a great amount of votes to candidate B. Jedel, from Jedel to Luzio. Benefits. I don't know if it is if it is the right term benefits or advantages one identification of the municipalities where candidates A and B had the best votes and the best results this is very important for the opposition in fact the opposition wanted to know where those municipalities were found where there was more difficulty in having the votes. Number two, identifying the municipalities in which candidate A proved to be able to transfer his votes to candidate, candidate B in the coming elections. You can produce forecasts in the next for the next election you can foresee or you know the candidate the municipalities which are more likely to vote these two candidates three to collaborate in defining political marketing strategies for maintaining and expanding jurisdictions and finally the possibility of predicting the municipalities in which candidate A will obtain more votes in the elections of 2014. Yes, as I said, the elections took place took place in October, and so we can we will do a secondary ana analysis. The municipalities in which the candidate obtained more votes did not guarantee his election as a Senate member. The municipalities where the transfer of votes did not guarantee a particular candidate which in 2014 obtained a relevant amount of data. The second analysis compares the following. When I was called to prepare the maps, uh, now they call me the map man, there was a meeting with the marketing team with three people in it responsible for data analysis. The first one identified this region here in the blue square. He said that the candidate, Giordal, in 2006 had a lot of support in that area, in the western area. But in 2014, that region, uh, well, you know, the, there was a big, big transfer in that region in another region in the south, his brother also managed to transfer 
a lot of votes for the elections in 2014. And formerly in that region, candidate A didn't have any votes in the same region. And we can also do and another analysis was done by the third member of the team. Things that had not been foreseen in the study, for instance, these areas which are circle, where the candidate had no votes or favorable conditions. But in 2014, we can see that that candidate got quite a few votes. So each analysis was done by a different person and those pers those people had different marketing strategies of which I was unaware. And another thing I was asked to do in the commission was a map of orphans maps. Is that what you say in Spain? Orphans? Orphan. Orphan votes. Huérfanos. Orphan votes. In Bahia, five candidates to the 2010 elections were not present in the 2014 election. These five candidates altogether got more than a million votes, which were then freed. These maps shows where those vo votes are and how they got caught by other candidates. This election was for the federal MPs. All these maps show the towns that were more likely to pull these free votes. The, I don't think you can see it very well on this slide, but these are the maps. Give us a quick view, a quick picture on the towns that the party PMDP tried to cover uh, and the evolution of its votes uh, 2000. It didn't have a lot of prefecturas or prefecturas in 2008 when the candidate uh, supported President Lula. We can see the expansion of those votes but at some points they were friends and then we were enemies of the president. So things changed in 2012, they became enemies and so they lost uh, quite a few votes in comparison to 2008. Here we see another map about a very, very important politician. He was so important that he was chosen to be the candidate to vice governor and he's currently the governor of Bahia. He had a lot of power and many votes in the western area of the Bahia state. But nowadays uh, he hasn't got much, much support there. His name is Juan Leon. Here we see the evolution for 2002, 2006 and 2010 when he was a federal MP for the last time. When he left this position, he decided his son will take over. We can see on these maps that the regions where João Leon had a lot of votes well, his son also had a lot of votes, though his son had his leadership more on the south, where his father was not that influential. His son, Kaká Leao, uh, had 79,000 votes in 2010, and in 2014, he now has 125,000 votes in the regions where his father had the votes before. We can see how these regions have grown as far as the number of votes are concerned. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.